This is the rumor report. I think a lot of people will recognize the voice and the name. Here we go. On the Breakfast Club. Lauren came in hot. You know, I, you I came in telling the truth. <laughs> so Usher is going to be headlining the Super Bowl. I think the world called this after that residency that he did in Vegas. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that this will be taking place in Vegas, so it's an historic moment. Um, he talked about this. He said, this is an honor of a lifetime to finally check a Super Bowl performance off my bucket list. I can't wait to bring the world a show unlike anything else they've seen before. Now, it, he has an album that's also coming out. So his ninth um, studio album, Coming Home, will also arrive on the Super Bowl, which most, most artists do because it's a huge stage, huge platform. Absolutely. Smart. He, his catalog is just, he has so much he could choose from. So right. many people he could bring out, so much he could do. Where do y'all think Usher is going to go for the Super Bowl? What are we going to get? I mean, it's 13 minutes. You're going to get a, you're going to get a, a brief, uh, you're going to get a brief summary of Usher's career mm -hmm. in 13 minutes. That's what you're going to get. Yeah. You're going to get a little bit of everything from every hour. Heavy Atlanta. You, you're you probably going to see the roller skating. You're going to, everything that Usher does, you're going to see all together. You're definitely going to see Yeah. Yes. You're definitely gonna see lovers and That's friends. Right. That's what I meant. Songs with songs. Uh, it's gonna be a lot. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a lot. Dr drop one of Clues bombs for Rock Nation, though, man. okay? Because <laughs> Rock Nation has done it again. Y'all hate Rock Nation's affiliation with the NFL, but y'all love the halftime shows they yeah. put together, don't you? Oh, I'm excited. Because none of this happens without Rock Nation. You know, you do know that, right? The Dr. Dre and Snoop's, of the course. Rihanna's, the Ushers. None of this happens without Rock Nation. Now, the rollout to announce uh, the fact that Usher was doing uh, the Super Bowl or is doing the Super Bowl mm -hmm. was also fire as well. I thought that was dope, too. We have, he, there's a, a bunch of different videos he did, and they sunk it to um, the Usher Confessions video. I saw that. Yep. But the, they, they led with uh, Kim Kardashian. We have audio of that commercial. Hello? Yo, I'm in the booth. I'm going to call you right back. Wait, can you talk? No, nah, I just got to put this one part down. I'm going to call you back. Wait, wait, it's Kim. I'm at the studio, man. I finally got the answer to those rumors. It's not about me, it's about you. You're doing the Super Bowl. Go play with me, man. You're playing the Apple Music halftime show in Vegas. No, for real, don't play like that. I don't have time to play. One, I'm busy. Two, you're doing the Super Bowl. Are you serious? I'm gonna call you back. Wait, we'll be in touch. I'm gonna call you back. By the way, I thought Deion Sanders you know one was dope. The, the one I liked the most was the one with older Usher talking to younger Usher. The Kim and Dion, we didn't even I think it like depends on where you at, where where you at in, the, in, in like life and like trending and, and what's going on. Because this one I thought was fire, especially because they led with it because there were so many rumors that Usher, there was like a whole possible thing with Kim because she kept going to the... She, it's because she kept going to the show. She was there like multiple times. It's a times. phenomenal show. She went I twice. Know. She went multiple, Lauren. No, she went like four times. She says in the commercial herself she's been twice. It felt like five. I didn't hear those rumors. I didn't hear that either. It was a thing. But if I, I, live, if, if I, I live, but in I know LA, I was in a relationship. Too. So, but no, I've been to the show. I understood. What did you? Do you know that girl, the the stripper that slides down? Mm -hmm. Oh, you haven't seen it. No. I no. Seen it. Uh -uh. Oh wow. Nothing. Yes. No. It, well, yeah. It's an amazing show. But I thought all those leaders. But what about were the stripper? What, you... So there's this stripper okay. that Usher has after they do like the opening skating scene. Mm -hmm. She's in white. She like slides down and she like claps with everything but her hands and it's just an amazing show that's all you remember I, that you was the best, I hope, we, I hope best we see that part. at the Super Bowl that would be dope we see that at the Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Yeah, absolutely and listen we said Usher in Vegas for 2024 2025 Lil Wayne Drake and Friends in New Orleans of course come That'd on man fire. come on now Speak, Little, speaking, come on of, now. speaking of Drake speaking of Drake you talked to your friend today Charlamagne um what do you mean Drake no Drake uh uh what happened? Well, okay. So this morning, um, Drake was a little bit upset about some things that you had to say. I want to. Do we have the audio? What did I say? I, we, we, I'm gonna let the people know what you said first, and then we'll get into it. Drake put out a song last Friday, and nobody cared. What was the song? The song. The Drake and Scissor record. No, oh. people. That just dropped, and people do like. It, it. came out last Friday, and and it came out last Friday, and people just started talking about the lyrics yesterday because I, I saw people. I remember, I, I'm in the group chat and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, damn, Drake put out this record Friday and people just get into the lyrics on a Monday. I mean, that's not Drake. Like, uh, he's gonna be fine, regardless. I just think that you know, it's also when you think about, you look at the album cover and you hear the title for All My Dogs. I think we was looking for something a little bit more harder, a little bit more aggressive. But he came see out what with happens. This, this okay, so 
after these comments, and I, I will say I do agree with the fact that the song came and went, and the biggest point of it was the Holly Berry situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drake, it's going debut at number one, they saying, though. It's Drake, of course. Mm-hmm. Like, he could literally put out a song with no words, no, not even him on it, and it would do that. But mm-hmm. um, So after this, Drake went to his Insta story. He posted a few things. So he posted some photos of you, and then um, he actually removed it, but I screenshotted it. He posted a message. He said, uh, are you okay, Leonard? You're kind of weird. Leonard. Weirding, Leonard, sorry. It's Leonard. You're, you you're kind of right. you're kind of weirding me out, G. Like you really obsessed with me or something for years. Like you look like you look in the mirror and wish you saw my reflection. Whatever you gotta do to let it out. I'm sure all 435 of your loyal fans will stand by you. You effing goof. <laughs> and then he called me off brand Mars Chestnut. He did. I yeah. agree with that. And he yeah. he put the picture of you with the sweater where you're like really trying to channel <laughs> it in. Like you were yeah. you were I, trying hard. I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> Definitely. You definitely had a oh, more stress in the mood. I had, like. I want to tell y'all something, but you're not going to believe me because I'm lying. But Drake and I plan this out every time he drops an album. I'm part of the album rollout. He drops a record. I critique it. It brings more attention to the record, more attention to the project. I keep telling Drake he doesn't need me to do that. He's Drake, but for whatever reason, he wants me to do it, so I oblige. Okay. I don't believe you. I'm just telling you. It, was, it wasn't always like that, though. Back in the day, I can honestly say I was hating on Drake for fun. It was hilarious, at least to me. Like, you know, he posted one this morning where I, that I forgot I even said, where I said it was a three, three orientations. Three yeah. sexual orientations. <laughs> uh-huh. Gay, straight. straight, and Drake. Yes. <laughs> hilarious. All right? <laughs> but that's just hate. Okay? But after Back to Back, and he sent the bottles with the note, let's be friends, we came to an understanding, and we agreed whenever he drops certain songs, I will hate on them in order to bring more attention to the record. I don't think he needs it. I think it's crazy that he wants me to still do that, but, you know. So you actually like Slime Me Out, Slime You Out, whatever? No. So then... I think Charlamagne has a problem with light skin brothers, me and Drake, he just don't like. No. It's not that either. I just told y'all what it was. But I'm lying, so it don't matter. See? But, you know... But can we just agree that you don't look like Morris Chestnut? Nothing around you looks like no. Morris Chestnut. Morris you don't Chestnut, remind me of Morris Chestnut. Chestnut says he gets mistaken. Oh my goodness! Morris Chestnut says that he's gotten mistaken for me. It's not my fault. Why y'all he be was... mad at God's God's engineer? I don't mm-hmm. understand this. God's engineer. God's, God's engineer. plan. God's this is engineer. Saying God's to me plan. That y'all get upset oh at God's no, engineer. No, th- this photo right here. There's a photo that Drake posted with the sweater. Come on now. Come on, Lauren, say it. Come he don't on. look like no goddamn Lauren. Lauren. It's, not that, it's not Lauren, that you I'm, look like him. Lauren, come on. Just, Lauren. Come no, on, Lauren. I think, I think the editor did a really good job there of you making go. you feel like it was there. Like, go, this is AI or something. Go to the other one where you got a beard. Whatever y'all want to say. Go to the other one. Go back. Go back. Come on, some now. of them That's not there Morris. anymore. Oh, he erased, he erased them. They, come they, on now. Oh, he yeah, erased the beard one. Come on now. For all the dogs. When for all the dogs drop it? When is it? They didn't say. Over you. You know. Um, for all the dogs Friday, is dropping right? October 6th. October, yes. October 6th. Can, can we play a Drake song, please? I think it's only right. Come on, you can't fight. Which I, I know you got a, z- there's a zillion of them in there. Play the record with Drake and SZA. I gotta pull it out. What you is happening today? No Drake song. You up here acting like Morris Chestnut. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I just told you. you, you nobody one? gonna believe it. That's why I don't be saying nothing. I just be keeping stuff to myself. What does this do for his music, though? I, that's what I be trying to say. I'm like, you don't need it, you Drake. But he wants me to hate on it because it brings more attention to the the situation. The song is actually good, though. I just think that the Halle Berry stuff took over. There you go, yes. OVO Eli! All right, let's get into the Drake joint featuring Mm -hmm. SZA. We got front page news next. It's Drake featuring SZA. That's right. Slot. I get paid regardless. Play it. Slot me out. (laughs) I'm on. I'm on. (laughs) Breakfast Club. (laughs) Wake that ass up. In the morning. The Breakfast Club.